Indonesia's Samalas volcano may have kick-started the Little Ice Age. A volcano in Indonesia may be the location of a massive mystery eruption that perplexed volcanologists for decades, according to a new study. The eruption happened in 1257, and it could also be one of the volcanoes that started a 600-year cold period called the Little Ice Age. 600 years! That's well into the 19th century. Now, volcano uh, eruptions release sulfur into the atmosphere, which eventually falls back on Earth and gets deposited on the ice sheets. And these sulfur samples can be identified in ice cores obtained from the polar regions. From the records, Clive Oppenheimer, a volcanologist at the University of Cambridge, found that an eruption in 1257 may have been the largest release of sulfur in the past 7,000 years. That would take in, of course, the Thera eruption that was thought to have been the uh, event that took place around the time of Exodus. This was even bigger. Now, where did the eruption happen? Not being able to find the volcano can be discomforting, said Thomas Crowley, a geoscientist at the University of Edinburgh. He says if the sulfur was not released by a volcano, it means something very strange is going on, and we don't know about that. But locating the volcano source can be tricky. For the 1257 eruption, there were many candidates. Ocatena in New Zealand, El Chichon in Mexico, Kilotoa in Ecuador, and Samalas in Indonesia, next to Mount Rinjani. The narrowed down, they narrowed down the choice, Frank uh, Living and the Pantheon Sorbonne University and France and his colleagues had to consider many types of data just published in the procedures of National Academy of Sciences. He said they do a great job of combining historical data, geochemistry evidence, carbon dating, and physical data to arrive at the conclusion, said Eric Clemetti, geoscientist at Denison University, author of the popular Eruptions blog. He said there's a case for this to be some malice and is compelling. The historical data comes from Babad Lamboc, which are records written out down on palm leaves in Old Javanese. They describe a horseshoe-shaped collapse, which can occur when empty space is created under a mountain on ejection of a large amount of magma. Carbon dating is a commonly used technique, but its estimates are not accurate enough, and Laving had to rely on comparing geochemical fingerprints which gives a unique ratio of chemicals present in the ash from every volcano. The two sets of these geochemical fingerprints comes from volcanic ash in the ice core samples and the possible site of a volcano. Quote, in this study, the error margins for the chemical analysis are quite large. This is what Rebecca Williams, volcanologist, University of Hull says. She explains, but I appreciate that matching the ice core data with volcanic samples is very difficult. This is because the ice core samples often yield only one or two grains of ash, which need to be subjected to many tests. Volcanic eruptions, especially those containing a lot of sulfur, can have a large impact on our climate, which then have social, economic, and environmental knock-on effects. An 1815 eruption in Tambora, Indonesia, is infamous for producing the year without a summer, one of the chilliest summers in Europe's history, which was followed by a mass shortage of food. Laving speculates that the Samalus volcano could have similar impacts. One such speculation is about thousands of bodies recovered from Spital fields in London. In London, many of these were found to have been shoved in a single grave, indicating some sort of crisis. According to Laving, they've been recently dated to 1258, only one year after the Somalis eruption. The, Bada, the, the Babad Lombok also notes that the volcanic eruption destroyed Pamatan, the capital of the Lombok kingdom. Quote, there is a good possibility that an ancient city lies beneath the ash and pumice deposits of the Somalis volcano, in quote, said Oppenheimer also co-author of the study. He says ruins under such deposits are not so uncommon, but finding a whole city might be. More important, though, 
could be Somalia's volcano's role in triggering the Little Ice Age. In a, 12, a 2012 study in the journal Geophysical Research Letters, scientists used climate models to show that a series of eruptions may have triggered the onset of the Little Ice Age. Although the precise timing varies somewhat, this period is typically considered to have occurred between 1250 and 1850. Clementi said a large eruption could not have caused such long-term climate change. Instead, it had to be a sequence of large eruptions, one of which might be the Samalas volcano. This is by The Conversation, and it's by various authors. Ashkat Rathi, former science data editor of The Conversation. Clive Oppenheimer, professor of volcanology, University of Cambridge. Eric Clementi, professor of geoscience, Denison University. Frank Levine, Professor, University of Paris, Pantheon, Sorbonne. Rebecca Williams, Lecturer, Volcanology, University of Hull. Thomas Crowley, Professor, University of Edinburgh, Creative Commons. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.